welcome back to another video. FNAF22 here with another video. And in today's video, we all know that, um, that, <laughs> we all know that on the Nintendo Direct, they announced that the new fighter will be coming on October 1st is when he'll be announced and we'll be able to see he or she there's gameplay. So in today's video, I wanted to go over just about like six or seven people that I do not want to be this final DLC character. These are people I do not want to be in it. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys want a list of people I do want. So let's jump straight into this video. First of all, no offense, but the first person I'm gonna put on my list of do not want is an Among Us character or a imposter slash crewmate character. I feel like this would have been a good idea a while ago. I feel like at this point for the final character, I feel like an Among Us character wouldn't really be a big enough re reveal. I feel like it could still be really cool, but I don't think it would be a big enough reveal for it to go like crazy crazy, you know? So I think an Among Us character would have been good, but not really good for the final DLC character. Next up, we have a Gen 8, a Gen 8 Pokemon. Here is a list of a bunch of Gen 8 Pokemon, so I'm just going to scroll through while I talk. Um, Gen, so they have a Pokemon for almost every Gen, ex except for like 5 and I think 3, but I'm not sure. And honestly, I don't think the final DLC character should be a Gen 8 Pokemon. I feel like if they're going to do another Smash Bros. game is when they should add a Gen 8 Pokemon to the base roster. I don't think a Gen 8 Pokemon would be the best for the final DLC. So yeah, but if I had to pick one, it would be Score Bunny, which is one of the starter types. But still, do not want a Gen 8 Pokemon in the final DLC spot. Up next, I swear to the lords, if we get a Fire Emblem character, I will... I will be so triggered. It doesn't have to be about from Three Houses, because I know they added Biolith from Three Houses. But I just use this as an example. I do not want any Fire Emblem character in the final DLC spot. I will lose my crap if there's a Fire Emblem character in the final DLC spot. And I'm pretty sure most of us can agree, because when Biolith got announced at the end of Challenger Pack 1, everybody was triggered. So I don't think... Anybody will be happy if we get a Fire Emblem character at the end of DLC Pack 2. So I'm just praying to the gods of Smash Bros. Ultimate that we do not get a Fire Emblem character. Next up, we have the Rabbids from the Rabbids Invasion games, or the Rabbid game. So they first came from the Rayman Legend games, which I think Rayman would actually make a very good final DLC character, but... So that's why he's not on this list, but the Rabbids. People have talked about the Rabbids being um, DLC characters because they have a game with Nintendo, Rab um, Mario, Rabbids, Kingdom, which I actually really like that game, and Part 2 is coming out soon, so it would make logical sense for them to be in it, but I do not want them in it. If we are getting a character from this kind of, like, era, you know, I would rather have Raymond than the Rabbids. And, yeah, because Raymond would actually be very, very cool, but not the Rabbids. I do hope we do not get the Rabbids or any versions. Like, I hope we don't get Peach Rabbit or Mario or anything. Next up, a lot of people have said this as a joke. It would be funny if one of the DLC characters was a Nintendo console, like the Wii, the Nintendo Switch, or the Wii U. I feel like this could be, could have been a funny thing if they released one of a DLC character on April Fool's Day and gave us the N Nintendo Switch as a DLC character, uh, kind of like Prana Plant, where it could be a free. Oh well, was Prana Plant free? I think so. Well, it could be like a free uh, joke character just to add another character to the roster. But I do not think it would be the best for um, it to be the final DLC character, of course. So yeah, um, obviously this is just a joke, but still, I do not want a Nintendo Switch as the final DLC character. Next up, we have the Goomba from Mario. Um, a lot of people were saying, even I was on this boat, where that since Piranha Plant got in the game, there could be a chance that we get Goomba or Koopa, or Goomba and Koopa as a duo character, which I thought would have been really, really cool. But, 
for the final DLC character, just like um, the Among Us characters. For the final DLC character, I really don't think it should be Goomba, Koopa, or Goomba and Koopa. I don't think it'd be the best final DLC character. I think they would have been cool earlier on, kind of like Piranha Plant, but I do not think it would be the best for the final DLC character. And finally, the last last one on this list we have is SpongeBob. Now, don't get me wrong. I think SpongeBob would be an, a pretty cool character, just because he's he could do a lot of different. His move set could be very unique. But here's the problem I have with SpongeBob. Sakurai said this was an to respect or like represent gaming history, and SpongeBob is not from gaming history. Yes, he does have his fair share of games, but he originated from a TV series, and he's more not video game characters. Like he, um, like Sakurai already said, he would never add like Goku or Naruto because they're not gaming characters. Yes, they have games, but they're not gaming characters. So I don't get why SpongeBob would be in it. I feel like it'd just be better for him to be in it from a business standpoint to make more money. But sadly, I do not want our SpongeBob in this. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell so you'll always be notified when I drop another video. Let me know in the comments down below out of all these characters we talked about today if if you wanted any of them in the DLC and give me a reason why. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please, please subscribe. We're on the road to 200 subs and we have something very big coming soon. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.